For those of you who don't know, you're currently watching this video on a display server. That may be the one in Windows, Quartz, which is the default for Mac OS, X11, Wayland, or something else. What the heck are you talking about, you might ask? Good question. A display server is what orchestrates everything you see graphically on your screen, such as your mouse cursor, your taskbar, your wallpaper, your desktop icons, and most prominently, application windows. On Linux, people tend to use X11 or Wayland. Wayland is the successor to X11 and has been for 13 years. For 13 years. For 13 years. But this year is the year of the Linux de- Hyperland is an implementation of the Wayland protocol. What the heck are you talking about, you might ask. Wayland itself is not actually a display server. It's just a protocol for display servers. In other words, it defines a set of rules which a display server must follow. This way, anyone can implement a Wayland server, and as long as it follows the protocol, the display server will work seamlessly with applications that support Wayland. So. Hyperland is a popular Wayland compositor, recently made all the more so by a certain Swedish man. Anyway, the lead developer of Hyperland recently announced the beginning of their fourth rising competition. This is another term that I'm going to have to explain. Rising is basically the art of making your desktop look as cool as possible, while also keeping it functional. The great thing about Wayland is that it's highly customizable, with great documentation and plenty of tools to help you out with rising. I had been thinking about what I would make if another such competition was announced. And here was my chance. I didn't want to go messing up my personal computer, so I whipped out my dad's 10 something year old laptop and got to work. The first thing to do was install a Linux distro on it, which I did. Next up was to learn how to even rise. At this point the deepest I'd ever gotten into desktop customization was writing some janky EO config for my status bar and I hadn't even finished that yet. Well, I was in for one heck of a ride. In my head, I had this vision of a really interactive, gamified desktop with grass that you could swish using your cursor and a character that you could move around to select apps. Menu dropdowns would be parchment scrolls and wobbly vines would hang from the status bar, though this vision changed over the course of the competition. Initially, I thought I'd go for a dark fantasy kind of style, like Skyrim, so that's what I worked towards for the first week and a half. Ew was totally yuck, so I didn't want to use that. Instead, I went with Quickshell, which allows you to write widgets and pretty much anything else using QML, which is the QT markup language. I was hesitant to use Quickshell because I hate writing abstracted markup languages instead of proper code, but the clock was ticking, so I just made a decision and stuck with it. I found a wallpaper and cut out the foreground and background, so I could have this nice parallax effect when the mouse moved. I also stuck a clock in there. Then, I had the epic idea. What if the terminal is parchment? What if I could write a plugin to make it have the nice little curlies at the top and the bottom? I recalled something from my game dev days, where you could split an image into nine parts and it would automatically tile the edges for you as it scaled. I could do the exact same thing, but with window borders. I literally had no idea where to start, but paper makes crunching noises when you open and close it, so I thought it would be cool to add that. I found some sounds on freesound.org and wrote a quick little script to play them when the terminal opens or closes. But since the script ran when you pressed the keybind to close a window, and not when the window actually closed, it would still play the sound even if the window didn't close. Well, I thought I'd solve this by hooking into Hyperland's IPC, which raises an event when a window is closed, but this offered me no way to check if the window was a terminal or not. This is how I ended up writing my first plugin. Basically, the plugin just extended the IPC close window event to include the Windows class, so that I could check whether it was a terminal or not. It was a very, very simple plugin, but that's why it was a great place for me to start. From this, I learned how to compile a plugin, how to debug a plugin, and how to hook into window events. Then I drew a rock, 
that I thought I'd use for the Neo Fetch, but it was ugly, so I threw it out. Then I played around with shaders for a while. You can see the vignette in these early clips. I tried adding bloom and chromatic aberration as well, but never settled on anything I liked. As cool as it can be, sometimes you just don't need post-processing. Then I started making a trumpet for the notifications. As you can see, I jumped between a lot of ideas. There was so much I wanted to get done, and so little time to do it. You'll notice that I also kept chipping away at the status bar up the top. I kept returning to this idea that I would use a game engine for rendering the desktop, because I'm more familiar with game engines than I am with QML, which I've never used before. So I started putting the background and the notifications into a Godot project. I even managed to get it to show full screen in Hyperland's background layer. Then I realized that notifications need to be displayed over Windows, and they're not very useful in the background. Then I also realized that using Godot is a dumb idea, because so I eventually dropped the Godot idea, and dove into Quickshell. Then, at long last, I moved on to the centerpiece of this rice. I started working on the Image Borders plugin. I started by simply getting Hyperland to reserve space for the border. This took me a while to figure out, but in hindsight, it's actually stupidly simple. Then I spent ages and ages trying to figure out why it was crashing, and it ended up being because I had forgotten to implement a destructor that I had specified in the header. Me and C++ are no longer friends. Then I got it to render an image into that reserved space. After a bit of research, I threw together this function, which takes a slice out of an image as a new image. Using this and a lot of fiddling, I got it to slice up my image into nine parts and render the top left, top edge, the top right, the right edge, the bottom right, the bottom edge, the bottom left, and the left edge. It's probably not as efficient as it could be, but I had a deadline. Now all that was left to do was tile the edges instead of stretching them. For this, I had to make a quick patch to the Hyperland plugin API. Then bam, image borders were done. Well, mostly. The image and the sizes to cut out of the image were all hard-coded. I wanted to make these configurable, but I felt like I was running out of time, so I returned to it later. I also added an option to disable image borders on some windows. You may have noticed that my background completely changed. This is because I discovered that I'm not much of an artist, and I don't have the skills all the time to create Skyrim-style art for everything. So with two weeks down and one to go, I switched to pixel art. This is something that I can do somewhat decently. I had been staying up late after work to type away at this project, and I was pretty tired at this point, so I don't have many recordings from now on. But basically, I added a battery indicator, a launcher icon, notification pop-ups, fixed a bug in the Image Borders plugin where I neglected to swap the red and the blue channels, which apparently I had to do for some reason. I implemented dark light theme switching, and I added a nice drop-down menu for managing media. A launcher allows you to launch applications, as the name implies. I had the idea that I would make this a magic basin of water, like that scene in Lord of the Rings. I made some progress on this idea, but never got it into a state that I liked, so I dropped it. I also added a screenshot tool with some nice rope physics. Again, I thought I'd use Godot for this initially, and again, I realized that was a dumb idea. I scaled back my vision and learned about Volet integration. Coding rope physics with this isn't actually that complicated, and I created a nice, reusable Qt Quick control for it. The deadline rolled around, so I wrote down a list of things I wanted to feature in the video and recorded my submission. It took about five takes before I was happy with it. Then I sent the post. I was fairly confident, and it got pretty good reception. There were a few other really cool submissions, so I waited in anticipation for two whole weeks for the results to come in. During that time, I caught up on some sleep, and I wanted to work a bit more on my rice, so I made a new branch. I fixed a few bugs and added this cool lock screen. Then, once the tense two weeks had elapsed, the judgment commenced. Mostly grey GTK war crime. Yeah, war crime is you not posting the dot files, so okay. Rivendell, oh yeah, this 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 one was great. Uh, there's, um, there's a couple videos in this one. Yeah, yeah, like, I know. 
He but he changes. posted one on YouTube, I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, no, it's just, just this one. <laughs> All right. There's also a bit I tagged at the end of... Um... Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hey, 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 oh, okay, oh, I thought he was like, I thought he was like on Windows and he had backslashes for... This is really cool. What is this? The P with a cross. The is that is that the, is that the Bi Byzantine Empire emblem? I think yes. And he's on a I laptop. Love the notifications on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can't I mean, the sounds for opening and closing. That's also really cool. And and like the border plugin on a oh motorbike. My gosh. Yeah. Wait, what? This is really cool, but this is like something that everybody does with Quickshell for some reason. Like the, these ropes. It. it was originally from. Um, <laughs> yeah, that uh, fucking dude. Look out! The little knight eating himself. Ah! Oh my gosh! Should have added a Wilhelm scream. I love how it's like the one stereotypical movie sound for falling off of something. Yeah, yeah I, I even forgot Wilhelm how it's scream. called, but it's like someone falling out the of the Wilhelm window. The Wilhelm scream. Oh yeah, the Wilhelm scream. Yeah, thank you. What the heck have I been missing a lot? Stock sound for decades. Yeah, I just didn't remember. The oh wow, that oh, that was now it's dark dungeon. That was very that was very that was very sleek. The the the, the change was like instant. That's really cool. Oh wait 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 ah. Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> The borders didn't change. Your plugin broke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm, gonna she, I'm gonna ignore she, that. She's tweaking something in the plugin. Oh, so it doesn't do that automatically, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> the gaps, though. <laughs> That's a really cool media player, though. <laughs> yeah, it's like wood plank. He actually made it even better after this video finishes. Check the uh, link at the bottom of the thread. The other video? It's a yeah. Oh, he's got a little ropes. Damn, it's like a, a sign from a a nin or something. That that is really cool. All right, um, let's start the vote for creativity f four relevance four effort. I'm gonna give that a four and discretionary. I'm giving I'm giving half a point. I'm gonna I'm gonna give one because my reasoning is that I liked what V Dog made more. Um, that's one and two. There are no elves with big tits, so I I can't really give two. All right, Mr. Meth. Uh, four everywhere and then a one. Uh, All right. There's no goblins. Quick show, man. Four 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 two. Oh. Four 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 two. You really we like can, that one. We can give him a forty four. Plugins too. He did get plugins. Easter eggs. Is is the Wilhelm scream an Easter egg? <laughs> I, I think it counts. All right. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give one is. point. I'm gonna give one point there for for that Wilhelm scream. Uh, that was that was really cool. All right, Ra Mr. Raccoons. Hold up. Hold, let me just clarify something. My username has nothing to do with raccoons. Okay. Yeah. No, nothing. Well, anyways, after all the voting was ended. I won. Bye. Are you tired of doom scrolling YouTube, of endlessly perusing recommendations, of wasting hours in other videos? Well, that's what Pistol is here to solve. It purges YouTube suggestions and it's totally legit. Get Pistol now.